hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide how are you i hope and pray you're doing well wherever you are sending you the purest of love and light if this is your first time i welcome you returning soul tribe new soul tribes hello i am so glad that you're here thank you thank you thank you for your continuous love and your support thank you for your donations Paula, thank you so very much for donating to the channel. I really and truly appreciate you. Thank you for your comments. I am encouraged as well. And I am inspired and motivated. Thank you. God is for us. Who can be against us? And as, again, just meditating on what it is that God wants me to talk about, what's the message here? the first one it says here god angels of healing are with you a time of healing is about to bless your life accept archangel raphael's emerald green light while i enhance your strength so for a lot of you a lot of us we're healing from the pain the traumas that whether we participated in or not for a lot of you a lot of us <laughs> you're not even you did not even know that you were a part of a battle a part of a competition that the war that was waged against you and so yes it's a time of healing and it's about to bless your life and so you're asked to accept Archangel Raphael's emerald green light. Again, healing the heart chakra. Healing the heart. Again, if the enemy can break us to the point where we are bitter, then the enemy wins. I recall recently, I, you know, sometimes you think that you're over some things and going back, oh my goodness, it's like, it's like unraveling a barbed wire that was healed in the flesh of my heart. And let me tell you, since I've done that, it's almost as if I have, I have not felt the same that spirit of heaviness it is gone it is over and it's like i didn't even know it's there but definitely after doing it i felt the difference and so for a lot of you you are releasing you're letting go of the people places and things that no longer serve you as well a lot of you a lot of us like myself you have gone through a lot of betrayals a lot of setbacks, heartbreaks. And yes, I know a lot of people, they're going to say, oh, here we go again. But yes, for me, this is a part of my journey. This is, this is a part, a big part of my testimony of how we overcame. Because for a lot of you, a lot of us, it's like wherever you go, you don't even have to participate but the drama comes to you because of who you are, your unique gifts, talents, and abilities. We attract people who are envious and jealous of our gifts, our talents, our abilities, our features, the way we talk, the way, even the things that we don't like about ourselves. People are envious and they're jealous of it. And for a lot of these people, before they set out on their, their, their quest to destroy us, they painted us as victims because they are, they are laying the foundation. They are paving the way. So what does that mean that sets us up? So then later on when we speak out because we're sick and tired, sick and tired, we're fed up then the people are the persons who they told before that we are victims. Then they'll say, oh yeah, they did say they're victims. This is why they're crying out. So can you imagine the anguish 
the insult to the injury. When you have gone through things, people send spiritual warfare to your house, to your job, to your business, to your family. People have persons following you, going into your community, digging up dirt on your name, slandering you for their own greedy and selfish needs. Have a whole community looking at you, talking about you, when they don't even know you. And then you, you have to fight. I've had to fight all of those battles in the silence. Just me and God, because nobody else, even the people who knew about it, stood back as if they don't have nothing to do with it. And then when you speak up now, again, you're called a victim. I remember like growing up, my grandparents, they would tell me, and I've heard other people said it as well, how when they went to school, if the teacher beat them or spank them or whip them, as they would say here, if they, if, if after getting a spanking, they go home and they tell their parents, they would get another spanking on top of it. Even if a stranger was to meet them on the street, and for whatever reason, that stranger feels the need to grab them up and, and, and rough them up or, or slap them. And if they should cry home and tell their parents that Mr. So-and-so hit me, their parents would then again turn around without even asking a question and they would spank them on top of it. Can you imagine can you imagine being between the rock and a hard place? It's like the people who are supposed to fight for you. The people who say that they are godly or they're wise, who were supposed to be there for you. They are the same ones who join with the, the attackers to now pour more mud, more dirt on you. because they're rallying the troops and everybody get caught up because like I said, from the get, the enemy knew what they intended to do. So it's like when you cry out for help, nobody will, uh, will want to help you because this is who you are. You're a victim. People who don't know you from a can of paint want to stamp you as a victim. that that does something and that says a lot you know i remember and i psalm 1 1 blesses the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the ways of sinner nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law doth he meditate day and night is like what are people meditating on? Because people who are supposed to know better, their best friends, their leaders, the people who speak truth to them are ungodly men and women, are males and females. People who are selfish, are greedy, lustful, who wants to create division separation, distractions, and delays. People who themselves are ungodly. For example, I have this platform. They will run around and they'll tell people, oh, they are, they are doing voodoo, evil things, when in fact, they are the ones who are evil. They are the ones who are practicing iniquity in their hearts. So this is, this is what the devil does. Illusions, lies. And again, when people who, men or women or males or females, who deem themselves as Christians or leaders, when you don't know who you're taking advice from, you're in a sad state 
of her fears, let me tell you, it's very sad. And this is why I will forever speak my truth. They don't have to believe it and you should speak your truth as well. It's a part of our healing. It's a part of us getting our justice, speaking out and helping others as well. Because as I've shared many times in my messages, if God did not pivot me to come to this community to meet like-minded people, I don't know where I would have been. And I thank God for this outlet where I can express myself. Because if I was just within the cloak of whatever communities, I would not get have any justice. Nobody would be there to listen because they would just think, oh, it's just another. I would love to speak about healing. I would love to speak about peace. And, and even in the midst of it all, I can still speak about it because the joy of the Lord is my strength. But if we are going to believe that there is love, then there must be hate. We can't be drifting just to one side. It's, a, it's temperance. It's balance. It's about balance. And it's the same way God is a warrior. And at the same time, he's our helper. He's a lion and he's a lamb. Because there's a time when as a lion, you have to stand up and you have to roar. It's, it's not going to be glitter all the time. No, it's not. I mean, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but once I get it, I get it. I am not a sucker for punishment. It, even if it takes me a while to get to come on to what people are doing, but it's like once I learn that lesson, I try my best, and if I can help it at all, I am not repeating it. Because I believe God reveals things to us so that we can remove ourselves from certain situations. So who is the victim here? Who is the victim when some people decide to stay stuck with the same people who are hurting them? crippling them, giving them bad advice, guiding them the wrong way. Who is the victim here? I think we know the answer. I think we know the answer, who is the victim here. So a lot of you, you are healing and your, your angels are with you at this time as you're going through your healing journey. The truth sets us free and it may not be what people want to hear, but it's what they need to hear because even some of those who think they have it all together, why does it bother them so much? Because they're triggered. They're triggered. And yes, while they have the Delilahs, it's like I love how Solomon started out being so wise was able to decipher between, again, the, I, I love to go back to those that story with the, the two women. One who brought the baby who was not hers, crying, crying that it's her baby when the real mother was there and the false mother was willing to have this baby cut in a half so that it could be shared between both of them. I mean, this is what the devil does, lies and illusions lies solomon started out very well but see it's not how we start is it it's how we finish because once he started to lapping up with those all those jezebel spirits those incubus spirit those succubus spirits once samson start putting his head in the laps of the delilahs then all truth is 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 is, is gone. It's gone. So no, it's not about getting up every day and lashing out at people with or judging anybody. The truth sets us free. Yes, people who are living in 
that or if they're triggered, then it means they need to heal. It's not, we are not here to cuddle people who are on a path to destruction. We are here to speak the truth. And again, faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy is deceitful. And when, when again, this is why Solomon was, again, even though he was supposed to be the wisest man, this is why he was led astray. Because it's like everybody come, they gave him a little bit of opinion about their God, their, their beliefs, their faith. And so to appease all of them, he tried to split himself until in the end he, he, he was shambles. Whose report do you believe? So don't allow anybody to make you feel as if you speaking up, you standing in your truth because you know your assignment, what you're here for. You're not here to clout or people please. For what? For whom? When at the end of the day, it is you, it's between us and God. It's between you and God. Nobody else. How did you spend your time here? Did you lead anybody to change, to transform? To the cross? Did you point anybody to the cross? Are you just here to make everybody happy and cushy? But yes, no, we're not going to tell people, beat them over the head about hell and brim fire. But people need to change. That is the great transformation. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Because if not, then we're watching people who continue to live in filth. People who are doing the devil's work want to manifest. And this is why all these people, they're trying to wreak havoc against the men and women of God because they want what we have, but they don't want to do the work. And we are teaching them how to manifest, how to get it without going through the proper channel. Who is the victim here? Who is the victim when everyday people gossip, slander, send spiritual warfare, have people on our tails watching, gossiping, paying off people to tell lies on us? And yet still we get up every day to take care of our business, to pay our bills, to take care of our families and not being codependent on others, but because people in our lives, these ungodly people, we some of some of the people who are supposed to know better, you have these these leeches and vampires in your life who are who wants to continue to blood suck and take from you. So they try to tell you lies and you fall for it. Who is the victim? Because we don't have time to roll over and play dead or sick here. We have to take care of ourselves. We don't have a zaddy. We don't have anybody else but the strength we get from God every day to leap out of that bed to go and take care of our business. Who is the victim here? Who is wise here? Who is the adult in the room here? So my, my soul tribers, who feels it, knows it. And because you have, and because, you, because for like me, a lot of you have been shedding light on what these evil people are doing. They don't like it. We are showing them up. They are being exposed. They don't like it. So here they are, you know, again, trying to still run around. Instead, they go repent. Instead, they go and heal themselves. They're trying to cover up their tracks. And because people around them are trying to cuddle them and protect them, instead they realize these people are mentally ill. Encourage them to go and get help. Instead of taking advice from the ungodly. 
instead of standing in the ways of people who are unrighteous, people whose hands are dirty and their hearts are messy and, and, and unclean. They are the ones working iniquities. They are the ones who don't want you to prosper. They are the ones causing the divisions. Who are the victims here? Who are the victims here? And this is why Spirit is saying, do not settle for less. You are a child of the divine and you deserve to have your dreams come true. Don't give up. Never give up in this life. You can give up on people, but never give up in this life and prioritize our self-care, taking care of ourselves. Because like myself, a lot of you, the people that we thought would come through for us, they took advice from ungodly people to not help us, to not listen to us, to not be there for us. And instead, they are engaged and again, taking sides, blinded. They themselves, some of them are under spiritual warfare. They don't even know it. Because that's the only way you could be taking advice from the blind. From somebody who can't guide their own lives. Who don't have a life. People who will kiss up, suck up, whatever to do, to, to get anything. <laughs> yeah, these are the people who wanted to have death. To have death or cause death on a nine of pentacles. You work hard. We work hard for what we want. These are the people who are going around trying to cause death to what we put our time and our efforts in. They don't want to. They didn't want to see what we have prosper. And with the seven of ones, we had to stand our ground. And it's like with the, look at this, it's like with a mic here, you have to speak your truth, stand your ground, protect yourself, protect your territory. And it doesn't matter what anybody says, as long as God is on our side, that is all that matters. It's all that matters because I'm telling you, these people, three of pentacles, they work together, collaborated together to come against us, to oppose us, to take us out. Again, but God, the Hierophant, God showed up just in time for us. When all else fails, God will show up for us and he will show out and he's closing out with the world here, closing out a, a, a chapter, a cycle of all those toxicity He's putting, like, you see this, like an edge of protection around us. Yeah, with justice. This is karma. This is fairness. The scale is balance. Again, whose report do you believe? Who feels it knows it? And this is why God is showing up on our behalf. This is why we go through tests and trials so that we have a testimony. So even the people who will say that we are we are um, out there, you know, just saying things to hurt people or being the victim, as long as God knows, and God knows, then again, who cares, right? The Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new stable offer. This is coming in from the hands of God. This is after a time of competition, a lot of jealousy, a lot of hateful people. And this is why God stepped between it. God is here between death and all those people who wanted to put out. You see, I tell you, you are busy taking care of, of what you're supposed to hear. You have this with your two of ones, you're planning, you're going about your business, you're minding the business that pays you. And again, a lot of these people, because they have nothing to take care of their only desire is to try to put out what you're working on what it is that you're supposed to get and again don't worry because even 
the Bible, the, the psalmist tells us, when my mother and my father forsake me, then God will take us up. And this is what he promised. And this is why he's here to deal with these people and everybody who participated. Some of these people may want to come around to make an apology. They want to apologize for what they have done because it's like they see that a cycle is now closing out or it closed out and they were not able to take you out. You're healing. You're not settling for less. You have boundaries. You know what you desire. You know what you deserve. Your counsel comes from God, not man. Not man. When you go to meditate, you are talking to God, not the advice of greedy people, people who are thieves, liars, and manipulators. Those are the ungodly ones. And it just, I mean, it, it never ceased to amaze me how sometimes people will run away from the light, but they will go to the dark for their solace, the darkness for their friends. But the people who are supposed to elevate or vibrate with them, they run away from them. They sabotage those things. Ace of Wands, yep. A brand new passionate creative stuff. I'm, start, I'm telling you. God is showing up and showing out here. If God is for us, who can be against us? Yeah, Four of Wands, stability in our home. And this is after a time of Five of Cups crying missing out by ourselves looking at the people who betrayed us we poured our love in and then they pour it out people who were again supposed to be there for us they walked away from us and god did this for a lot of us so that he could protect us as well so that in the end we know who gets the glory as well in the end, when we share our story, nobody can take credit for this because the award goes to the Most High God, Jesus, Abba, Jehovah, call him the great I am. No, nothing, no credit can be given to anybody. So again, in the end, people may not understand because again, they were not there for us. Only God was there for us, but God. And this is why we're healing and we're sharing our testimony so that people can also heal themselves because so many of you are hurting and there is nobody to listen to you. People just want to, again, spank you, rebuke you, call you victim, pour salt back into your wounds to make it seem as if what you went through and what you're talking about, it's false, it's a fable, it's not true. When they themselves witnessed that, they saw it firsthand. But it's like they're too much of a coward to speak up and to speak out. But God is here, new foundation, new stability for us. God is for us, who can be against us? And it doesn't matter. I prefer to be rich in spirit because once we have God, we have everything. We have everything. People who are trying to compete with the lovers. For some of you, some of us, people wanted to interfere in your relationships. And this is why they did the things that they did because they were jealous. They wanted to be a third party. Yes, you are an empress. These people, I'm telling you, they are drought. They can't produce anything. And this is why they work so hard to try to kill what we have. For us not to be abundant because we would show them up. We expose them that they're wasting their life. They wasted their time. And they hate to see that you are blessed. You're abundant. You're productive. You're pregnant with potential. And this is why they try to steal our books, our ideas. Our essence, they want to take our energy. Yeah, they want to take our energy, but we know the joy of the Lord is our strength. And no matter what, they can't stop us because we're going to keep on perfecting our craft. Look, we got the emperor, we have the empress, emperor here. 
Yeah, you're bossing up. You're a leader. You're a ruler. And these people, they have nothing. And yes, even though we are all flesh and blood, but there's a difference between those who are willing to do the work and those who are not. So yes, even though we may not want to say that nobody's better than anybody, but the one who is willing to do the work, yes, they are better because they choose to do the work. This is why we have hell, we have heaven. This is why we have A, we have B. There's a big difference. Yes, we are humans. But there are certain things that put us in different categories. And if it come across as if it's better than, then it is what it is. It is what it is. You're a boss, you're a leader. You're not a follower. You're not here to fit in. You're here to stand out against these devils. Against these devils. Some of these are Ten of Cups people that we think are families. They're devils. Yeah, they can't stop us. King of Cups. We're still loving, still caring, still vibrating high, emotionally balanced and stable, and we're moving on to calmer waters. God is moving us on to calmer waters, away from these toxic and devilish, from the counsels of the ungodly. We keep moving, we keep pushing. As we celebrate victories, ours, we will reap the fruits of our labor because we persevere.